Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited because I want to talk about something that I've been really excited about for a couple of months now. And I ordered this a while ago and it just arrived this week. But I got this package and in this box is the best tripod that you can use for YouTube, apparently. So today is Monday. This arrived on Thursday and I haven't had a chance to open this up and look at it yet because I wanted to open it up here for you guys and I haven't just haven't had a chance to do that at all with everything I was doing over the weekend. So I'm just going to open the box. Okay, so in the box we have the switch pod. So this is it, so straight away, um, the packaging for this looks really slick. It's this yellow box, it's in plastic, and it has this imagery on the back of it, and on the front of it, it's really simple and basic. It just says switch pod, and it has an image of the tripod itself. I've been so excited about this for weeks. As soon as I heard they were shipping them. Okay, so the box is magnetic cardboard and inside it's kind of like a soft rubber foam and it just says in here, made by creators for creators and then it just says for tips and tricks, go to their website. So I'll see, oh wow, okay, so this is it. This is the switch pod. It's lighter than I expected it to be, but also it's very, it feels real solid. Like, I, I thought it was gonna be heavier, but it feels as solid as I expected, if that makes sense. So that's actually a really good thing because obviously if it's lighter, it's keeping weight down, which particularly when you're vlogging is always a good thing. So I've been really excited about this ever since I saw a load of creators that I follow get their hands on this early a couple of months back. I was like, I have to back this Kickstarter. This is the switch pod in its folded form. So the idea of this is that you mount your camera here, you hold it like so, and you can use it kind of the way you use a lot of the Joby Gorillapod tripods. And then the legs flick out and you can stand it down and use it as a proper tripod. And the reason I wanted this is because this is Elaine's camera and I'm just using it as a prop for this video. But this is the Gorillapod that I normally use and I normally have my M50 which I'm filming with here on the top of it. And when I'm out and about and I'm walking around like so, the Gorillapod is great. I don't really have any complaints about it other than it can get a little bit heavy but beyond that it's really really good and I really like it. Elaine and I have had this tripod for probably about four years and we had it for about a year and then I got the ball head for it. It wasn't until I got the M50 that I started to use this Gorillapod a lot and when I started using it all the time, what I discovered was when I was, like if I was trying to make a video like this one and I was using this tripod, I put the camera down on the table and it would stand like this for a few minutes but then very quickly it would just start to slide out. Now I'm doing that for now because it hasn't actually done it right here, but it will do that all the time. And I just, I've had too many occasions where I'm either talking to the camera and it's just started to keel over or it's actually fallen and like crashed onto the table or worse yet, fallen off the table and landed on the floor. And it's only just by pure luck that I haven't broken my camera already. I can't really rely on this Gorillapod as a tripod. It's great as an extension for when you're vlogging and you want to just get like a good wide angle shot. But as a tripod, it's kind of terrible. And the guys who created the SwitchPod, actually where they got the idea for the SwitchPod was they saw a lot of YouTubers using this and like they could see the problems that YouTubers have and just in terms of A, getting it from this bent position here into straightening out the legs quickly and like they just thought there should be a better way to do it. So they came up with this. 
So the idea is that literally just you mount the camera to it, plant it down, pick it up and you're good to go. What's really good about it so far that I'm already noticing, I don't know if you can see these here, but they're just, they're little magnets here and here and here. So the legs will all just lock together. There's also a screw here so that when you're twisting the camera on, you can actually screw it and tighten it or release it from the bottom here. So you're not screwing the camera. And I'll show you guys that right now. Take this off and then I screw this on. And already that feels really solid. Like what I'm noticing using this is that it's a little lighter, I think, than this, but not a huge amount, actually. It feels like the camera feels much more solid, like it's not accidentally going to go anywhere or it's not going to wobble on the Gorilla Pod when I'm holding it. And then I just flick this out like so, put it down, and now I can do my sit down talking video, pick it up, close these around again. And apparently there's a knack to this where, yeah, okay, so that's actually really easy to do. I thought I was gonna struggle with that a bit more, but, and then they come back to you. So, so far, I'm loving this. I can't wait to actually use this properly out in the world and vlog with it. What I like about this is that when I first got the Gorillapod, it was a solid in terms of being able to stand up and hold the camera, but obviously that's not the case anymore. But now with this one, these legs are never gonna wear out. Like from here to here, this is a rigid structure. So that's never gonna wear out and this will start to give way. The only things that I would be worried about happening are maybe this hinge mechanism here might get jammed or broken somehow that way. Although I don't really think it will because it seems to be like quite a simple design. So it doesn't look like there's a huge amount really in there to go wrong. And the only other thing that I'd be worried about are these magnets potentially like, they don't feel the strongest. So already like I'm holding it like this and they're falling down, but that's fine. Like if push came to shove, I could just get stronger magnets and put them on there. Like I wouldn't need to go and replace my switch pod and I might find that that's not really an issue at all. This thing is great. And um, the other thing that I just want to check with this is I will, when I start using the switch pod, I'm gonna take this ball head off here and put it on here. But I just want to see in terms of height, is it much higher? than the Gorilla Pod, or is it really any higher? Okay, so with the way I have the Gorilla Pod positioned here, the Switch Pod is actually slightly shorter than the Gorilla Pod. So the camera's gonna sit slightly lower on this than it would on this. Now, the way I've had to use this for the last sort of year is if I wanted to position this on a table, I would actually have to sit the Gorilla Pod like that, and even then it would still sometimes dip down with just the weight of my M50 on it. So yeah, this is gonna be brilliant because it always used to annoy me, like particularly in my vlogs when I'm just doing a quick bit where I wanna talk to the camera, and I kinda have to like almost, like I kinda have to almost like lie on the table like this. And the reason that I've been doing that is not because I'm as casual as it looks, but it's just to kind of get into the frame because the camera is so low in front of me. Uh, the other thing that I'm also quite excited about, which I didn't realize is these feet here are really badly worn on this Gorilla Pod. And when you put them down on the table, like I keep wiping the table down because every time I put this down, bits of rubber come off the bottom of the Gorilla Pod and are just left all over everything. So that's not something that I need to worry about anymore with this. But what is good is there are little rubber feet here just to stop this from sliding and from gouging your table, but they're not huge big rubber balls that are just going to disintegrate. Now, there's one thing that the Gorilla Pod does that the Switch Pod doesn't. 
on the switch pod will never ever do. And that is when you want to mount this to a fence or a railing, you can do that. So you just twist these around, whatever you need to do, and you can kind of mount your camera to anything. And I know I've complained a lot in this video about the GorillaPod and how it doesn't hold my camera anymore. When you have it wrapped around something, it does still hold really well. And the reason for that is that that's actually what the GorillaPod's designed to do. GorillaPod was never meant to be a stand-up tripod for vloggers. But when you use this for its intended purpose, it's excellent and it's still excellent. So I won't be getting rid of this, I will still be using it. But one thing that I will say, in all the time I've had this GorillaPod, I think I've only ever mounted it to a railing like that maybe three or four times. So yeah, it's not something that I do a lot. So I think practically for vlogging and for the type of videos that I make, this tripod here is going to be the one to use. The other thing that I really like about this is when it's folded up, if I can fold it up now, that'd be great. When it's folded up, it slots into your bag or whatever way you like to carry your camera. It'll just slot in there much more easily than the GorillaPod because what I would find very often is when I'm going in and out to anywhere and I have all my camera gear in my bag, I often have to make a choice between do I bring my lunch in my bag or do I bring my GorillaPod in my bag because this takes up so much space. Whereas this will just slot into the side and take up a fraction of the space. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to get this thing set up fully. And I wanna see, can I, yes. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just mounting the Joby ball head onto the top of the switch pod. The other thing I actually really like about the switch pod is just the little switch pod logo that's on it there. I think that's really cool. Just put this on here. So this is going to be my new vlogging setup and what's really good about this is actually with this camera it's so much heavier than I'm used to because this camera is so much heavier than my camera. What's really good is I've got the switch pod so I can still get the distance and the range but with the ball head I can just tweak my angle which means that I can just get it exactly how I want it. This is going to be my new setup. And it also means that if I'm setting this down on something that's not totally level, I can use the ball head to make sure my shot is level the way I want it to be. So that is, in a nutshell, the switch pod. I'm really, really excited just to get out and start using this. A few months ago, a bunch of YouTubers were given these by the guys who invented it and started the Kickstarter. And I saw a couple of videos on it. I thought that looks really, really good, but it was a Kickstarter and I didn't really think a huge amount more about it. And then I saw Peter McKinnon's video about it and he went into all of the detail. And I just, when I saw his video, I was like, I need to back this. And Kickstarters aren't normally something that I back. I've never backed one before. This is the first one that I've done. But this so far from what I can see is excellent. And the two guys who made it, they're two creators themselves and they saw a lot of YouTubers using these GorillaPods and they just said there has to be a better way to do this and they decided that they were going to make that better way themselves. So I really, really respect that and I've been really excited to get this SwitchPod sent out to me and like since I saw that it was shipped, it shipped about two weeks ago and I've been checking the shipping every day to see where it was at and like when it would arrive and now that it's here i just can't wait to start using this thing i'm going to use this for a couple of weeks and i will come back and i will do a follow-up video to this one and i will talk about you know, sort of the things that i like and i'm sure there'll be things that i don't necessarily like about it as well because nothing's ever perfect but I will make that video once I've kind of gotten to grips with this and once I've used it a bit more and once I know what I really like and what I don't really like about it. But I just wanted to make this video about the Switch Pod, what it's like out of the box. The packaging itself surprised me because the packaging is really high quality and like it doesn't look like something that was just 
prone together. Like this is a serious box and like even there's heavy duty foam in here that's like clearly very specifically cut to the shape of the switch pod. I feel as well like this packaging is kind of in sort of inspired by Apple packaging. So it's not something that's just been thrown together. They really put a lot of thought into the packaging and what it's like. So when you get this, it doesn't feel like something that like two guys just dreamt up and made. It actually feels like a premium product that's been made by a really reputable company. So, so far I would have to say like that's a tick. And the build quality of the tripod itself seems to be really, really good. Like I can't see any flaws in the tripod itself. This mechanism to screw either your camera or a ball head onto the top is really, really good and solid. Like it feels good. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break. And yeah, I'd be confident with my camera on this. And also what's really good is on these two kind of back legs here, these two holes here have treads in them so that if you have like an arm so you can attach like a light or a separate monitor you can mount those onto these two legs here so that if you have a camera that say doesn't have a flip out screen you can attach an external monitor or if you wanted like a microphone or like additional lighting or anything like that that can all be mounted to your switch pod as well so that's actually really really slick it's not something that I think that I necessarily will have a use for, but I know that a lot of people, like if you're using a Sony camera and you can't sort of flip the screen around or even some of the newer Canon mirrorless cameras, the way the screen articulates, if you want to put a microphone on it, you can't have the screen up. So like you could get over a lot of those hurdles with this tripod very, very easily. So I'm just editing the video here now and one thing I just realized I completely forgot to mention that I'm going to leave a link to the switch pod in the description below so if you guys are in any way interested in picking one up I'm going to leave a link to where you can get one also the link I'm going to leave it's an affiliate link so if anyone does click on the link and buy a switch pod through that link I will get a small commission on those sales but please, by all means, don't feel the need to buy one of these. However, if you make YouTube videos yourself and you think this will be of value to you, I would highly, highly recommend the SwitchPod because so far from what I have seen of it, it is an excellent solution for anyone who's making YouTube videos right now. So I think that's all I have to say about this for the moment. I'm really excited to use it and I will talk about it more when I've used it more but for the moment I'm gonna leave this one here I hope you like this video if you do please give it a big thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video